So I'm planting citronella. Maybe it'll help keep some of the mosquitoes away. Okay, so here I have an Anaheim hot pepper and I'm gonna companion plant cilantro in the same pot. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to plant this eastern redbud tree and we live where it's this sandy, so sandy. So I didn't have to worry about it being hard to dig. I didn't go put on shoes and uh, tennis shoes and socks. Um, it's fairly easy to dig in. It didn't take me, didn't take me but a minute um, to dig a hole, and I only made it big enough to set the uh, tree in, just because it's the soil is so it's so sandy and loose here that I really didn't feel like I needed to make a hole twice as big. Um, and so far, that's worked out for me. Everything I planted in the ground. So um, we'll get this tree planted, and then we're going to move on and plant a couple other things. Okay, so I planted my eastern red bud and I'm going to use the same bucket and I'm going to plant my lemongrass. How many people cook with lemongrass? We love it. This is what I bought the other day and I have it all planted. These are mosquito plants. That's a chili pepper cilantro companion planting this is our lemongrass i used the bucket that came from the tree the eastern redbud tree which we're hoping grows up and shades our porch this is lemongrass and i'm going to companion plant it with my tomatoes i bought two of these so i can dry them and cook with them So here is a lemon balm I companion planted and I add a little bit more dirt on top of there and then an interesting thing in here we had a tomato um, branch that we broke off it was a sucker and we just stuck it in the dirt here and there and they've taken off so we're gonna have new tomato plants coming up so that's awesome and can you see my ripe tomatoes there and all of this is just planted in wooden boxes that we made out of scrap wood. And it has worked great for our tomatoes this year. So on this side, we have our jalapeno plant, our sweet tomatoes, another jalapeno, I don't know how you say it. And then we have our tomato plant back here. And then this is some flowers, some uh, yellow and orange flowers. So we have it going around two sides of this deck. And it seems to be working out really, really well. They're growing great this year. Okay, so I just counted and I have 12 tomato plants in total. So that's a, that's a good amount. I didn't want to overdo it this year since this is our actual first year of growing here on the homestead. I wanted to show you the height of this tree. I'm 5'1". And so this is a pretty good, pretty good height for being the first year we planted it. I'm hoping that it grows um, at least a foot this summer. I'm hoping, so we'll see. We'll keep track of it. This is my other little bucket area. Um, this one is jalapenos. We love jalapenos, jalapeno. And these back here in this square tub is pepperoncinis. We had some pepperoncini seeds. We didn't get them started early. I threw them in there in March. Of course, we're in Northern Florida, so it's fairly warm. Threw them in there in March and look at them. They have just gone crazy growing. So that's how I'm gonna do my pepperoncinis from now on. And these I'll pickle. We just love pickled pepper, pepperoncinis. Green pepper plant. I don't know if you can see my little green pepper right there. And this is a banana plant that my husband is trying to start. He looked on the internet and uh, they said this is how you start it. So we'll see. And then I don't know if you can see, but I have some carrots back here in this tub. So that's just my other little garden. And then we have the pretties. So back there is where he's building my chicken run. We're almost done, we're very close. And so this is my chicken coop that I keep all the laying hens in. 
And, and of course, I planted some pretties around it. I like pretties. And there's our flag. God bless the United States of America. And so that just kind of gives you an idea that we have trees that shade the lane coop uh, run. So we've been working hard to kind of make this our own. And then there's my babies again. They bring me a lot of entertainment. I love the babies, love the chickens. So update on the coop, we got the back completely on. We come up the sides a little bit, and now he's working on putting in boards to put our roost in, and we're getting ready to screen it. The doors are all made, we have to screen them, but we are getting close, very, very close.